silence. Sometimes it can be a little bit much, perhaps a little bit overwhelming. Sometimes I wish there was something other than silence to practice my recorder against. I mean, sure, a lot of these books come with practice backing tracks, but the thing with CDs is, well, they tend to be the same every time you play them. Sometimes I wish there was just something else to practice with, something other than silence, something other than a CD backing track, something that just makes practice a little bit different. Luckily, there's an app for that. I've downloaded Drone Lab onto my iPad. It's an app that lets you control a drone, which you can use during your music practice to get rid of any pesky background silence. In the App Store description for Drone Lab, it says, Drone Lab is great for improvisation and experimentation. Explore the melodic side of your instrument in a fun, relaxing setting. Explore sounds and articulations that aren't part of your usual repertoire. I'm terrible at improvisation, so this sounded like it might be a good thing for me. In Drone Lab, you can control three different audio inputs to create your own custom background noise drone thingy. But if, like me, you're not really sure where to get started, there are some handy presets to choose from. Let's give mine a mood a go. about major seven. The slightly creepy sounding surface dweller. I reckon those presets sound pretty cool if you just want to pick up your instrument and start improvising. Like I said, I am terrible at improvising, so that's something I will do in my own time. I won't subject you to listening to it. Today I'm going to play something with the drone though, and um, something not improvised. So I'm going to try to configure the drone to work well with the piece. I'm going to play Ye Banks and Brays of Bonnie Doon, um, it's in G major, so one of the things you can do is choose the key of the drone, so let's go for G major. And then you can add sort of extra noises and blips, and Ye Banks and Braes is a Scottish tune, so I'm thinking sweeping mountains and wide open space and vast blocks. So I think we want some sort of echoey, boomy, outsidey type noises. don't really know what I'm doing here, I'm just clicking buttons, but I think that's part of the fun. Anyway, once I'd found something I was happy with, it's time to have a play along.
took a lot of breath. Now I am out of breath, and I usually don't feel like this after I've been playing my tenor recorder, but as soon as I started playing along to the tuned G major drone, I could tell that I sounded really quite flat and that I needed to give more air to the instrument to bring myself up to the tune of the drone. If I'd just been playing in silence, then I guess I wouldn't have noticed that I was a bit flat. Hearing whether I'm in or miles out of tune is something that I really struggle with and I'm trying to teach myself to be better at it and things like this drone app, I guess, hopefully will help with that. This app isn't something I would use every single time I practice. Really, I am quite happy to play into silence most of the time and I do use CD backing tracks a lot too. Also, now I have a recorder teacher, I do have someone to play with once a week, and he often accompanies me on the piano too, so it's nice to have this mixture of things available. Ye Banks and Braes is one of those tunes that I've been playing for a few months now, and over time I've added more and more ornaments and fancy bits and twiddly bits, so it was interesting to me that when I tried playing it with the drone app for the first time, that I kind of forgot about all the twiddly bits and fancy bits, and I just felt like playing nice long notes. That has to be good for practice, but it was nice to have something that made me respond differently in my playing to what I was hearing. The same old, same old CD backing track doesn't really give you much of that opportunity. Of course, not every tune is going to sit particularly well with the drone in the background, but there's plenty that will, and I get the feeling that it might finally help me get started with improvisation. So the Drone Lab app gets a thumbs up from me. What sort of things do you like to use in your practice session? I would love to know. Do drop me a comment down in the comments section below. And yes, because I know some of you will want to know, this is my brand new Mollenhauer Denner Tenor Recorder. I love it. I will film a proper video all about it one day, but at the moment I'm just trying to get it broken in a little bit more. We're not quite there yet. And of course, I want her to be sounding her best. If you've enjoyed the video, please do give it a thumbs up and hit the subscribe button. I make a video about recorders or flutes or something or other every single week. I think next week is going to be a Christmas special. Thank you so much for watching. Hope to see you again next time. Bye.